I want to read into the uh, record some uh, stuff from a, a book that's so secret. I can't tell you what it is, but it's so it's yellow, and the only things that are yellow in our society are dangerous things like like uh, hornets and the police with the yellow stripe on their pants. So it's very hot stuff. Um, I'm calling the um, other side, <laughs> the white hats, the uh, the dark overlords. Uh, this is a little bit of uh, their actual, this is a book about the psychology of the, this is a genuine uh, text that is available. This is not speculation, this is science. <coughs> so, uh, since this is a peaceful movement I'm involved with, um, we don't want to hate these people and shoot them. We want to get them to a therapist and fix them. And they too, like you, will be an ancient and noble spirit and go, what a ride that was. And you could uh, look at them in the new year of time and go, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were, you, mm. anyway. Uh, there's one word I'm going to define here, which is aberrative, uh, to aberrate something. Aberrate means to take it off the, the, the straight and narrow path. It becomes crooked. Quoting, you should understand that the aberrative personality has not become an aberrative personality by being confronted by another aberrative personality. You are not getting here the pattern of stimulus response. You are getting the decay of a human spirit. Um to complete inactivity so that the entire modus operandi becomes that of the body itself. And a body in the case of the aberrative personality, which itself is too deteriorated or exhausted to work. Not all bodies becoming so exhausted and unable to work turn into aberrative personalities, but the aberrative personality is born entirely out of the decline of the ability of the individual to produce. When the individual really recognizes his utter worthlessness to the society, he becomes an aberrative personality. The aberrative personality is so badly off that he can lead only a parasitic existence. You will understand then that people going down do not immediately and automatically become aberrative personalities. People become aberrated personalities out of a malevolence which insists on a high level of survival without the production of anything. And this is uh, criminal psychology. I must have, uh, can't work, so they steal. And in the larger case of the bankers, these little skinny bankers, um, they're parasitic. And they have a malevolence which insists on a high level of survival, which is I need three trillion dollars a month to get by on without the production of anything. Interesting. So these people are. I have a guy in mind, but I don't dare say his name or they'll be in on front of the door within seven minutes. So. This is the basic reason. Because these people are, like I said, uh, low on bravery. The basic reason the antisocial personality behaves as he or she does lies in a hidden terror of others. To such a person every other being is an enemy, an enemy to be covertly or overtly destroyed. The fixation is that survival itself depends on keeping others down or keeping people ignorant. If anyone were to promise to make others stronger or brighter, the antisocial personality suffers the utmost agony of personal danger. They reason that, that they, if they are in so much trouble with people around them, weak or stupid, they would perish should anyone become strong or bright. Such a person has no trust to a point of terror. This is usually masked and unrevealed. 
When such a personality goes insane, the world is full of Martians or the FBI, and each person met is really a Martian or FBI agent. But the bulk of such people exhibit no outward signs of insanity. They appear quite rational, and they can be very convincing. Only the sane, well-balanced person tries to correct his conduct. So, uh, one of the things that drives these people around the bend is if the enemy is everywhere. Like the Martian landing, they're everywhere. So, one of the things that would help to uh, pre precipitate them caving in on themselves is if there's a lot of people... I was going to say like me, but uh, I mean, if, if people will just pop their heads up and say, I don't like this new world order thing, and uh, I don't like the way the financial system is, and I want to have a better world, and I want free energy, and I want uh, happy children and fresh air, if we're everywhere, they, get, they can't think straight. They get more and more, because <laughs> they're already crazy, <laughs> so... It wouldn't take much to stir the pot. And when they can't think well, they can't organize stuff. And uh, if it's not organized, it won't work very well. And that is happening there. They can't figure out why things aren't working for them anymore. They've been working for four quadrillion years. And suddenly things are starting to fall apart. Uh, apparently this... Um, takeover was supposed to roll out in 1962 and they're a little behind schedule and uh, it's getting worse every day YouTube is exploding with uh, this stuff conspiracy stuff and uh, Project Camelot is all over them <laughs> well not Project Camelot but the, the whistleblowers whistleblowers are coming out <coughs> excuse me and uh, more and more uh, uh, people are coming on board. I have pamphlets I give out. Uh, my sign here. <laughs> Repay at the end is near. I also have pamphlets I give out to everyone. <laughs> and uh, just in the last uh, five weeks, the change in reaction has been from what? Really? To like, oh yeah, I know about that. Yeah, yeah I'm all over that. So awareness is coming up, 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 up. And as I mentioned earlier, on my upline guy, when we get to a certain percentage of we want a better world, it'll just break through, the dam will break, and it doesn't have to be 51% uh, because there's more of us than there are of them. So uh, it's going to happen, it's just a matter of when. So please jump on board. Please tell your neighbor, if you have a neighbor who doesn't know anything about us conspiracy nuts, let him know. Uh, we need him on board too. So, uh, just checking the timing here. I can only get 10 minutes at a time on YouTube. Though I can pontificate for hours. So, I uh, just wanted to read that into the record. These people are uh, crazy and have been crazy for millennia. So, uh, we'll need to take them down and then fix them. Once we get our hands on the same look, it's been a fun ride for all of us, but we'd like you to join, rejoin the group as a sane person. So we're going to do with a few things to uh, help you out. And uh, they'll become just like us after a while. And they'll have stories to tell, I'm sure. <laughs>